And for more on the story, let's turn to Jean Casares, correspondent for In Session on True TV. She's been covering the Penn State sex abuse case from the very beginning. She's also on the university's campus in State College. Jean, good morning to you. Good morning. We talked about the NCAA investigation. Let's talk about the police investigation now. What's the latest? Well, the latest is that we are hearing that more alleged victims are coming forward. This week, we tried to contact civil attorneys to talk about the civil rights aspect of all of this. They would make appointments but then have to cancel because saying that alleged victims were coming to them, they needed to talk with them. When you look at the federal aspect of this, this may be growing because when you look at the grand jury document, it talks about victim number four, for instance, that he went with Jerry Sandusky to the Alamo Bowl, that's San Antonio, to the Outback Bowl, that's Florida. Florida. He accompanied him on numerous Penn State games. They are out of state many, many weekends and also went to charity golf tournaments and stayed in hotel rooms with him. That could be out of state. And there are federal statutes of transporting minors across state lines for sexual purposes. When is Sandusky due back in court? He's back in court in about two weeks. That will be the preliminary hearing, a very important hearing because witnesses will testify. We will hear more. More will come out. The whole purpose is, is there probable cause to bind this over for trial? If so, then the case will go forward. Next would be called an information, which is like a complaint. Gene, as I said, you've been covering this story from the very beginning. What's your sense of the buzz around campus as the story, as more, more revelations, revelations rather, come out about what was Pe happening there allegedly? People, people are in shock. They don't want to believe it. They love Joe Paterno. They love him. They adore him. They don't want to believe that he covered something up for upwards of possibly 14, 15 years. They can't accept that. People know Jerry Sandusky. Lots of people know him. They said they never dreamed he would do something like this. And this is an area that the defense may want a trial to be held in because this is a, a campus that may support Jerry Sandusky. Let's talk about these allegations at uh, Syracuse University. These allegations against basketball coach Bernie Fine were determined unfounded back by the university in, in 2005. Uh, Gene, let me ask you, how can you re-examine allegations like this once a case has been closed? It can be very difficult because as time marches on, witnesses forget people pass on, people move, you can't locate, evidence has been destroyed. But if there are multiple victims that come forward that all have the same story independently, that can corroborate each other. And the police department opening up an investigation shows that they must have something that they believe they need to look at and go forward on. Jean Caceres in State College, Pennsylvania. As always, thanks a lot. We appreciate it. Thank you.